How's everybody doing? Wayne Barron here with my vlog and as you can tell we've got some smoke behind us. We are not smoking anything but we are going to be grilling out some fish. However, the fish that we bought was uh, what they considered to be the cheap fish. I didn't know that whenever I got it. I should have recognized that whenever the price was like $4.95 for a pack of very thick fish. But it is the arrowtooth flounder. Okay, so I've done some research on it and they say that it tastes like crap and it turns into mush and all this other mess. Some people say that you, you got to cook it properly in order for it to taste good. So what we're going to do is that we're going to grill ours. So I've already got it seasoned. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the grill. And so let's go ahead and get it started. Okay, so typically what I do whenever I grill my flounder is that it usually takes about 10 minutes to grill it. Basically, you want to grill it on about, probably about 3 to 5 minutes on each side. And uh, you got to be very careful whenever you flip it because uh, it will tend to fall apart on you. However, I've never cooked this kind of fish before, the, uh, the arrow tooth flounder. So I'm not really sure on exactly how it is going to cook. So we will find out after it's cooked. So we will see y'all whenever it's done. Okay, well as you can tell, we're losing a lot of light here. Uh, the fish did okay. It's been about 20 minutes. So uh, scratch the original 10 minutes that I said at the beginning. Uh, so we are at about... Uh, about 250, 240, 250, and uh, it's cooking pretty good. I've tasted some of it. It tastes basically almost like flounder. So, I mean, it all depends on how you prepare it. Now, uh, when we took the fish out, it was put inside of water. Don't ever do that, okay? Once you take the fish out of its wrapper, you can rinse it off. That's fine. But don't let it set inside of water because it will absorb the water. So we had a big thick piece, about that thick, I'd say almost an inch thick. Well, it absorbed that water, so I had to sit there and I had to let it drain uh, for a little while in order to get all the water out. However, I didn't get all the water out, so whenever it got put on here while I was cooking and I went to flip it over, it basically came apart. So any fish is going to do that. It's not just this fish, it's any fish. But it tastes pretty good. So, uh, other, than, other than the fact that uh, everybody says that it tastes bad, it's got a bad smell to it, I reckon it all goes by how you prepare it. And cooking it out here on the grill, uh, we've got right here, we've got, uh, as you can see, I mean, it's, it's like any other fish, it's going to come apart. So we've got our aluminum foil right here, don't touch it. And um, so you cook it over your aluminum foil until it cooks up and then take it off but I mean it did a pretty good job so to all of the naysayers out there about this fish it's actually a pretty good fish as long as you cook it right so I haven't tried to cook it inside I like to grill my fish and so uh, give that a shot see how you like it it's not bad for under five dollars for fish that thick and you go out and buy flounder the flounder is so daggone thin it cooks up in a matter of uh, just a couple of minutes and usually it's dry as a bone if you don't keep an eye out on it. This right here is thick enough to where you can actually cook it properly. So I am Wayne Barron and this is my vlog with cooking uh, <laughs> whatever the name of this flounder was. So y'all have a good one now. Bye bye. We just got finished eating our arrow tooth fish supper and it was great. So, I'm not really sure as to why or how people are preparing this fish. If you grill it out and you grill it out properly, it turns out really, really, really good. I really enjoyed it. My mother and I had it as a birthday, after birthday dinner. Had my steak dinner last night, had my fish dinner tonight. And it turned out wonderfully great. I mean, we filled ourselves up on it and it tastes just like flounder. So there was absolutely no difference whatsoever between the two fish as long as you cook it right and so if people's fish are turning into mush that means you're not properly cooking your fish right so learn how to cook your fish in order for it not to turn into mush 
This fish right here cooked up just like flounder. So I will be going out and buying more of this fish before the price decides to skyrocket. So this is some good fish. The arrowtooth fish is good. Arrowtooth flounder fish is good. So y'all have a good one. Thank you for watching my vlog. And yeah, we will see y'all the next time. Bye-bye.